the, it, it almost goes without saying, but it's obviously an absolute pleasure to be able to speak with the both of you. So thanks for that. Oh, no, um, Thank you. And, and uh, I really like what I've seen uh, of this show so far. I've seen the first four episodes. Uh, and the two of you, without a doubt, have gotten some of the most entertaining scenes uh, of, of the first half. Um, so I, I'm not saying the show is anything like uh, Game of Thrones. It's more like of an 1800s version of the X-Men or something. Uh, but James, uh, would, would you agree that your character kind of is the little finger of this show? Wait, what is that reference? <laughs> Game of Thrones. Oh, that would uh, be a show which I haven't seen. I'm so sorry. I Yes, I'm going to say absolutely. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I'm hopeless. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. Isn't that awful? I'm on an HBO show. So, so that, that's obviously going to be the headline of this. Is good, right? is. <laughs> oh, well, look, throw, throw me under the bus as well, because I haven't seen it either. <laughs> All right. Right. Well, uh, so we'll skip that part then. <laughs> uh, uh, but... Um, all right just tell me then uh, how how was it to shoot your scenes together because you you have some hilarious uh, scenes and some serious ones as well and there's a lot of darkness uh, put <laughs> put in the cracks uh, uh, of them as well uh, but i must imagine there must have been quite a few laughs like uh, between the takes so could, could you give us a little taste of how that was for you guys we had a lot of fun. I mean, we, we Tom and I met years ago um, and uh, I remember when I met him, I thought, what a great guy. And then he moved to America and I wasn't able to see him anymore. And then we uh, rekindled that friendship on set. It was really fun. I mean, I, I'm realizing as I get older that the people who I gravitate to are the complete opposites to me. Not that Tom is, but obviously Hugo and Augie are like yin and yang. You know, they, they encourage the kind of each other, they encourage each other to challenge each other and take themselves out of their comfort zone. So um, in the, in what I cl clearly, is, as an adult, I realize is true friendship. They're just meant to be because they're, you know, absolute opposites. And yeah, completely. Off. And I, I, I really enjoy. I really enjoy the fact that for Augie, who is so repressed and he's so full of um, fear that he's going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing or has been taken the wrong way, that to have a best friend like Hugo who doesn't care about any of that is intoxicating. So. I think although he spends a lot of the time faking af being affronted at like the way Hugo's behaving, the truth is he's like drawn to it and probably wishes he could be a lot more like him. And yeah, yeah. Way, Hugo loves the effect he has on Augie. It was, I mean, it was just really fun. The, we, yeah. were, we were very aware that the, the, the dynamic was beautifully written in the scenes, and then when we came to play, you know, play them on set, it was just a, it was just a great deal of fun. You can kind of tell, I think. Yeah, it, you you really can. <laughs> uh, so so. Uh, when the audiences get a hold of this show, and uh, I think it will be a, a, a big thing, um, we, we'll, the time will tell, obviously. Uh, but do you think that your characters will land on the likable or the hateable side of the impending fandom? Good question. And why? Great right question. Oh. Well, hmm, here's the thing. <laughs> as, as, as the show goes on, I think both of our characters are, will go on journeys that um, test the audience's loyalty. And um, well, I, I, and hopefully if we're doing it right, the, the fandom will go back and forth on how they feel about each of us and be excited by that. I think you're right. I think it will change in, over time. And I think, you know, there will be allegiances which are challenged later on. And people, you know, as a, as a mass, as a block, I think the fan, fan, fan group will probably change. But I think also, I know for a fact that in the first few episodes, there are going to be some people who just love Hugo because he's just a delight. But there are going to be many people, hopefully, who are really offended by him because he's also a monster. So in a way, from the off, and, and this is a testament to the great writing, it's, it's all, it represents... The mess that humanity is you know we're all kind of messy conflicted people full of both so hopefully yeah we only have a few seconds left so so i'll uh, just uh, get a quick one in there uh, muck mafia is is it happening i we are hopeful still we're writing we're still kind of we want to get it right so there's a lot of conversations going on it's definitely not gone um 
just the world is changing so fast that uh, it's a show which always wants to be on the on the zeitgeist. And so um, we just want to make sure that it's feeling as relevant as possible. So I do think it's going to come back. Don't. Uh, yeah, really, really do think it will. But just make, make sure it's the right, the right one. That sounds great. Thanks a lot for your time, guys. And good luck with the premiere, obviously. Thank you. Thanks.